Hi guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. So today it's Huddersfield away, filling the car up on route to Huddersfield and when I finally park up, park at this car park, it's a car park and a car wash. Very peculiar, so I'm enjoying the sights, a bit rude. And then on my way to the ground, it's like nearly there but my god was it a walk up to the stadium. But finally we get to the John Smith Stadium. Taking in the sights, don't know about you guys, I don't mind Huddersfield, I think it's a decent modern build when you consider other ones, I think it's got a bit of personality to it. This was a nice touch and these were definitely needed. Obviously Neil Warner back in charge, say what you want about him but a legend of the game. And then I'm at my seat. Now um, on a separate point, I don't know if anyone's noticed but recently at away days I've had quite a few people go into the actual seats. Is it just me or am I in the wrong here but normally in the away days you sit where you want I thought. I had quite a few people were telling me to move out my seat or, you know, move out of their seat. I thought you were going to sit where you want. Anyway, players come out for their warm-ups. And I'll have whatever this man's had. Bloody needed supporting the Blues, don't we? Neil Warnock's everywhere in this game today. Players come out, though, start um, getting ready for the match. And then soon enough, the ball is kicked and we're underway. I have to say the first half, up until about the half an hour mark, the atmosphere was really good in the ground. Although this kind of thing here of the ultras trying to start a chance is a bit cringy. It gave me very Seattle Sounders fight and win vibes. We're five minutes in, Troy Dean steps up and scores. Moments later, should have been 2-0. Mesbury right through the middle towards their goal. Instead of shooting though, plays a poor pass. Being 1-0 down, Huddersfield start coming for an attack. And this is a weakness of ours. This kind of wide area on the wings got exposed too often. Again, fortunately got caught out this time. Good finish mind. But honestly, this 5-3-2-3-5-2 doesn't work. It, Colin and Langello were caught out way too often. The season the only for these lot here. Again though, good ball inside. Unfortunately, no one on the end of it. And this is a decent move though. I think this is one of the positives of the 3-5-2. As you see here, Manny charging up field. Good little bit of interplay, looking up. And you know, I'll take a play on from here really. that shot was anywhere else it'd be 2-1 there but um yeah again look this area here Colin don't know where he is or who he's marking should have scored there very lucky to get that all the way there and going in at half time it's 1-1 which in all honesty I think it's quite a fair result I think if Blue's a bit more clinical could have been 2-1 but then the same could be said for Huddersfield generally quite a fair half although we look really weak on the wing especially down the left hand side Huddersfield no to expose us there and as the player ends down the tunnel, it will be a good chance just to remind you guys all about our new website. Head over to www.thetilton2.com for everything to do about the Blues. Got match day vlogs on there, leads to the YouTube, Bamba's match reports which are always spot on, and a place for us fans to interact and talk about Blues. Head over, link in the description below. Soon enough, the players come out of the tunnel and the second half begins, and straight away, Troy Deeney hits the post, really lucky there. But straight after that, again, the ball gets behind the wing backs and it's 2-1. And at this point, I don't know who to blame anymore. I don't know if it's Colin and uh, Longella having a bad game or the system, but either way, we were poor on the wings. Moments like a cross whipped in and then luckily the ball scrambled away. By the end of the game, we had a total of 19 shots and I think at least 7 or 8 of them were from Bakuna from this distance. I don't think that Dean's had the, you know, the best season for Blues, but he's really looking at scoring in this game. And even more lucky he's actually get injured afterwards from this shot. And not long after Dean's injury, Bielik's injured. It has to be stretched off. Looks like it's okay though for now, but again, not good for this match. And with Dean and Bielik off now injured, we just started going to downhill really. Started going for Hail Mary passes. We're cleaning the string two simple passes together at this one. 
and you could sense the frustration from the fans going as well as the players. As you can see here, balls don't even make it in the box here. It was just really poor. This was a decent little bit of play though from the team. And luckily we got a corner, but unluckily didn't amount to anything again. Decent ball in there, but you just got that feeling it wasn't going to be our day here. A big point for us, I think, is that we couldn't even beat defenders. It seems like we was getting balls in the box, but their defenders want everything in the air. But stuff like this really infuriated me. With two one down, he doing stuff like that. I don't know what was going on in Manny's head there. And then this for Bakuna. I, I don't know if I want to prove a point against his former club. But he was awful as well, I think, second half. I feel like you just had to get a team talk going and give us some of this. You've got to fucking die to get three points! But even if John Yusuf did that, I don't think it make a difference again. They just want everything in the air. And here, the communication is lacking. You know, very lucky that I want to get a better chance there. Huddersfield. Um, but, yeah, just again, more long shots, more Hail Mary passes. You know, rather than having the ball, passing it simple. Start lofting balls up field and just hoping for the best. And I think this point here really reminded me of the Cardiff game. Again, that space there. If that player there continued running straight and goal, it could have been 3-1 there. But with full time looming again, another Bakuna shot, and again another missed goal. Unlucky there. So a muppet was shot off in the home end. Embarrassing. But what was more embarrassing was losing this game 2 1 at full time. I just thought we need to get rid of this formation of 5 3 2 or 3 5 2. And if we don't start beating these teams, we're going down. Now, I won't be going to Norwich, I'm afraid. I've got other commitments. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay safe and keep right on.